Well, good morning, viewers. Well, it is here at the moment in England, United Kingdom. It's Peter Elgar here again with a bit more dark from magic. Um, this time, I'm going to show how I can sepia tone black and white prints. Now, these are prints I've worked on before when I used my farmer's reducer. But um, I've got some extra ones here as well. And we're going to try and do them all. Sepia toning is done either with a smelly version or the non-smelly version. Now I'm going to please the wife and I'm going to use the non-smelly version. And the non-smelly version has some thiocarbamide, which is in this bottle here, otherwise known as thiourea. And a minute amount of sodium hydroxide, which, which is there, that's been burnt by the sodium hydroxide. Look at that label. And in the other solution, it's got the good old potassium bromide. I want to get rid of that because it's a very old bottle. So, and another little smaller bottle this time of potassium ferricyanide. So there's four chemicals which are going to be used. And we're going to mix up, first of all, we'll mix up the potassium bromide ferricyanide mix. We have a little drop of warmish water here. It's easy to use warmish water. And then um, just enough to cover the prints in a 10 by 8 dish. We're not going to do too many so I'll pour a little drop out. Now how much do you put in? Well I've got to try and do it all left handed of course. I'm holding the video camera <laughs> with the other hand. Um, this is not going to be very easy. I'm going to see if I can put in a couple of grams of potassium ferricyanide until I get a dark orange mixture. And that's about it, I think. And then <coughs> with the potassium bromide, we put in roughly the same amount. Now we'll see if we can dig some out here there's some potassium bromide I meant to dig out not doing it all left handed it's not easy there we are and so I wanted to use it up because it's been in that bottle for ages and ages I reckon that's about the right mixture because it looks the right colour to me so we'll put that down there and then another warm water mix we're going to mix up the thiourea or thiocarbamide got two names this doesn't smell the smelly version is if you use sodium sulfide and you only use sodium sulfide with that you don't put any hydroxide in now this is a bit dangerous this chemical so we don't breathe in any of the powder can be a bit dangerous, so be very careful. Dissolve that in the warm water. In the formula, it tells you how much to put in to make one litre, and then you dilute it. Now look, that's had some chemical on that spoon. So we've got to wash that off. Good duck, good chemical practice. Don't leave your stuff without it being washed off. There. Then, if I can put the lid on, we don't want to spill any and breathe in any of that dust. It won't do me any good. Very carefully, I've got to get out only a small amount of hydroxide. Now this is caustic soda. And this is quite dangerous if you get it on your skin. So we don't want to have any dark room accidents. Now we don't need much. If you put too much in, the colour of the sepia goes all yellow and horrible. We'll, we'll try that amount. I, before I have put in too much. Now that's been dissolved. Now what you do is all these things you Wet your photos first. So we're going to take them out there, stick them in some running water. Now the sepia works better if your photographs are a bit dark 
or there's quite a lot of black on it. If you've got a very light one, it may not work. So I've deliberately included a picture taken in the British Museum, which is a bit light. And we'll see what happens. Now in the first, be careful we don't knock anything over, otherwise it's going to get, put the ferrous sign out, 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 of the, out of the way. When you do dark from chemical work, you have to think a bit carefully. Just do it in a methodical manner. We pour in the bleach first, and I wash that spoon. And we wash the spoon first. Here we are. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Wash that spoon under my running water. And we pour that mixture in. Yeah, that's just enough. Because I'm only going to do a few prints, so we don't need loads, it's all dissolved. I'll wash that in a minute. Now, what I did before, I put in a minute amount of Ilfratol wetting agent to help the prints wet. Now we're going to see if we can do that again. My, just dip my metal stirring rod in. cyanide mix just a few bubbles of wetting agent then rinse off so we don't get any chemical contamination um, top on there we are see then we're going to stick the print in we'll put in one of the darker ones first that's been now what we need to, we're going to rehalogenize this it's going to bleach out and the ferrocyanide and bromide mixture is going to make a silver complex which is a silver bromide complex it's going to it's going to look like it's dissolving it all away now if it takes a long long time you can put in some more ferrocyanide and it's gradually going there we are i don't think i put enough Ferrous cyanide in. So we'll just to speed things up. We we'll have to. It's going though. Here we are. I'll, I'll put some in the next next time. It's going. Then you have to rinse that off before you put it into your toning mixture. So we'll leave that going. Now rinse off my spoon with the thiocarbon mixture in. Well, they'll all be properly rinsed again. Thiocarbamide mixture into the dish. There. Now, that's, that's bleaching out. A bit slow because I don't think I put quite enough ferrous cyanide mixture in. Now, that is quite good. We're going to now wash that off get rid of the yellow stain we also we don't want to transfer too much of the furry side of mixture into the thiocarbamide in the meantime I'm going to speed things up and add a little drop a little bit more furry cyanide mixture here we are let's strength, strengthen it up a bit I'll stir it with me washed spoon here it dissolves quite easily, look. It's gone there, that's, that's dissolved. Wash the spoon. Now, we're going to put this... It all looks brown, it's stained with ferrous cyanide, but it's turned it into a bromide, a complex bromide mixture. If it's going to bring it back... Yes, it's bringing it back. And hopefully it's going to be a sepia. Now, if, if the print has not been very, very dark to start off with, it won't be a very rich sepia colour. But that is toning up quite well. I think that's coming out nicely, that one. It doesn't take long. So we can put the next one in, start bleaching out the next one. Here we go. Here we go. Leave that going for a minute. Grabbing hold of these wet prints. <laughs> Stick it into the bleach. Got it. 
learn how to get several things going at once. <laughs> then, that's not going anymore. A lot has finished. I mean, it doesn't hurt if you get your fingers a little bit on the chemical, but you don't want to breathe in the dust. See? Just rinse off your fingers like that. There, that's perfectly safe. Don't let the chemicals get absorbed by your, into your skin. Like you don't leave your fingers in the chemicals for too long. Now if, you want a, if you want a better black, you don't bleach it out fully. I, in case I'll, I'll try this one, well, look, the highlights are gone and the shadow areas are still quite dark. So we'll get a better black there. And then we'll try two at once to speed things up. There you are. We'll try two now. We're sticking this one with a rather rude statue that I took in London with my Rolly Flex. So if you're of a nervous disposition, folks, this is rather a rude looking statue. So close your eyes. And the other one is the very light print. Oh, that's going very quickly. There's not much silver in it. And don't forget, you can't do sepia toning on inkjet photographs. And we, that one's washed out, so we stick that in the toner. Here we go, we're just going to stick that in the thiocarbon white toner. And see what happens. We'll ag agitate the bleaching, agitate the toner. Here we are. I bet you the light one. Oh, the light one's bleached out. <laughs> Very well. It's almost blank. Look at that. <coughs> it's almost blank. Wash him off. How the tone? Oh, the toning one looks like old London now. Before, before the Blitz, before the Germans came over with their bombs, and they missed St Paul's Cathedral, luckily. But all the places around. All these buildings, they were all flattened. And I remember going up there, and these buildings, they was all flattened. They was all, as it was a bomb site. So now, we're going to put that one in the, rinse it off quickly, while we stick the very light one into the toner. I, I must have put just about the right amount of, Sodium hydroxide in. Now have a look at the rude one again. See how that's bleached out. Oh, that's bleached out quite, quite well. Have a look at the toning one. It's coming back. Look, coming back. Here it comes. That's toning up quite well. And this is, as I say, you can do this in your kitchen, but don't tell the wife. Wait till she's out shopping. You can do it in your kitchen. Don't, don't spill the chemicals anywhere, otherwise you'll get in real trouble. We're going to put in the rather rude looking statue now, which I took me with Rolly Flex. It's on Pan F film I had to finish up. It was a bright sunny day, so I've got good contrast on that. Rinse it off a bit. I'm not going to wash them all up for speed. I'll, um, just to speed things up, I'll only give it a quick wash. we we'll put the... Now that's not going to go anymore. That very light print, it has gone brown. It has toned up quite well. Now all photographers go here to British Museum, the Great Hall. Every photographer in the south of England, all the camera club members, they've all been there, except for me. So I splashed out a few quid on a train fare to Hoban, and the, the walk there, and somebody saw me photographing one of the staff, and he said, oh, the other photographers get here very early in the morning to get the shadows. And I said, well... If I get there very early in the morning, the cost of the train fare is about double because you're on peak period. So I, I miss the shadows, but never mind. I've got a couple of good snaps which I've put on Flickr and into my camera club. So I miss the best part of the day. You've got to get there early in the morning. Now look, the rude statue, 
That's toning up quite well. Gone brown. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So they're all going to be washed a little longer, and then I'll stand them out to dry, or else I can use a bit of expensive electricity with a hair dryer. Now, <laughs> our electricity has gone up in price, horrendous cost, so I don't want to use too much electricity. So I'll probably just stand them up to dry naturally, thus doing the EDF company out of a bit of their expensive electricity. Well, look at that, folks. That's how you do non-smelly sepia toning. And I hope you've enjoyed my ramblings. And wait for some more of my videos. Thanks for watching.